Thank you for joining us today. This is Sergeant Boltsmith and Command Sergeant Major Cade providing a guard cast hip pocket training for you. Today's training will be on the little things about wearing the OCP uniform. Sergeant Major, if uh, you want to take the reins. Yeah, I, maybe the first thing we ought to talk about is the name tapes and the organizational tapes. Ours are a little bit different from than what the US Army uh, uses. Uh, our name tapes and organizational tapes are black with gray letters on it. Y'all, that's the only combination that works. It's black with gray letters. That's what the regulation says. So if you've got tapes that have white letters or silver letters on them, uh, that's not regulation, but they can be fixed. If you've got a black Sharpie, you can darken that white or that silver, uh, and it turns out to be a pretty good gray. So remember, name tapes and organizational tapes should be black with gray letters. The next spot, I'm a big offender of this, and it's just a force of habit, and there are a lot of you out there that this is a force of habit. Hands in your pockets. Don't do it. Keep your hands out of your pockets unless you are reaching in there for your keys or something, but keep your hands out of your pockets. Uh, I get fussed at all the time for it, uh, and I, I catch myself doing it all the time. Just please always keep that in the back of your mind. Keep your hands out of your pockets. All right, here's another one. I see this fairly frequently. Uh, we all know that we wear the state flag on the Velcro pad on the right shoulder. Uh, what happens though, is a lot of times people are a little bit ha haphazard about how they stick that Velcro pad on. Here's the way to do it. It should be centered horizontally on that pad and the very top of the state flag should be absolutely perfectly aligned with the very top of that Velcro pad. Bottom line is you shouldn't have any Velcro showing above the, uh, the top of the flag. It's Top of the flag and the top of the Velcro should be perfectly uh, even. Now, this next point, I am not a, an offender of. However, I've I've seen it happen. Walking while talking on the phone. Don't do it, okay? Most of us are right-handed. If you have your phone and you're talking while walking, you're not paying attention, okay? If you have somebody that has a higher rank from you that let's say you might have to salute and you are right-handed, what are you going to do? Okay, you can't, you're not going to go like this. Or uh, if you're in, engaged in your conversation, okay, and you are walking and somebody walks out, you're not going to potentially notice them and you're going to get yelled at. I've seen it happen. Please don't let it happen to you. There are a couple of other things we need to talk about the uniform itself. Everybody's uniform is supposed to have a name tape, supposed to have a South Carolina State Guard organizational tape, and it's supposed to have rank insignia on it. Regulation specifies that of those three things, if you sew one of them on, you got to sew all three of them on. Uh, if you Velcro one of them on, you got to Velcro all three of them on. Don't mix them up. Y'all, uh, it's easy to do that. It's easy to get confused. The, the very best rule to use is if you affix things with Velcro and pins, do everything that way. Or if you so any one thing, make sure that everything is sewn. You do that, you'll be fine. Burn your ropes. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, look at your uniform, okay? You need to inspect your uniform all the time and look for any little strings or anything that you might have that's hanging off, all right? If you don't have a lighter, get a pair of scissors and snip those things off. You know, I'm looking around and I'm sure I have one somewhere on me. You know, uh, I inspected this morning before I put it on, but just moving around, things will start to fray. Okay. Check your belt, check your blouse, check your trousers, check everything. If you got a rope, burn it off, cut it off. The uniforms that we wear, uh, the, the Army combat uniform and the uh, uh, operational camouflage pattern, is a really very complicated uniform. We got buttons and we got zippers and we got pockets and there's stuff all over the place. Y'all, one of the biggest problems that we see with people wearing the uniforms is they forget to have all these fasteners uh, uh, fastened at in, you know, when they're wearing the uniform. 
So make sure that if you reach in your pocket to get your billfold out, button the pocket back. Uh, if you reach into your uh, in, into your uh, breast pocket uh, to get your medical form out, which you should be carrying in your left breast pocket, if you reach in there to get it out, make sure that the Velcro is back. If you go to the latrine, make sure that you button your pants up again. There's a lot of fasteners and every one of them should be fastened at all times. Regardless of where you live, it's going to get cold from time to time. There are fleeces available. If you do have one, you need to make sure that it is zipped up. All right. Now, uh, Sergeant Major Cape, how far up should it be zipped? Well, I, I don't know that, uh, that that there is a specification on that. Okay. Uh, what I look for is it should be zipped up almost to the uh, to the to the lower point of the collar, where 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 the uh, the sides of the uh, uniform shirt come together to form your collar. Right about there is where I, I normally think that it should be zipped. Understood. One so, other thing we need to talk about. Uh, let's talk about the boots. And this is one of these things that's sort of a, a pet peeve of mine. Uh, when you lace up your boots, make sure you lace them all the way to the very top. Don't leave that top uh, eyelet open. Lace them all the way to the top and tie the boot lace around your leg and tuck all those loose ends into the top. Now, I know what the regulation says. Regulation says you can wrap the laces around the boot. It looks like crap if you do that. You're a whole lot better off if you just wrap the laces around your leg, tuck the laces into the top of your boot so nothing is showing. No loose ends are hanging out when, you're, uh, when your boots are laced. And your belt should be cut off so no more than two inches will extend past the buckle, okay? When you order these things, they are gonna come and they are going to be incredibly long. Put it on, cinch it up, measure two inches, cut it. Now, you're gonna have ropes, burn them or cut them. Keep that thing clean. I would strongly recommend once you cut it, take your lighter, and just burn it a little that way it will singe it and keep it not you know it'll melt the the polymers and stuff that are in it and that'll it'll give you a nice edge as you wear it it will start to fray a little bit okay just take out your lighter burn those ropes keep your belt looking sharp i know some of you might be thinking well nobody's ever going to see it what happens if they ask you to deblouse okay if it's a hot day out and then and you have permission to deblouse you're they're going to see it so always keep yourself squared away. Now, these are just a few of the big ones to highlight. If you have any further questions, please reference the current version of DA pamphlet 670-1 or talk to your first sergeant or sergeant major. This is Sergeant Goldsmith and Command Sergeant Major Cabe, out.